Dallas Hall. Shannon Hall, she is Dallas on the American Gladiators, will be a combatant against young Tara McDonald. Shannon Hall, the first woman ever to box at Madison Square Garden, getting ready. Shannon Hall began building a powerful body at the age of 18. White training in martial arts was a way for her to control her aggression and channel her energy and channel it in a positive way. My biggest background is just street fighter. I think everybody started off getting in a fight and like, oh, that felt good. Or, oh, I won. I did good. Started out like that, but um, I'll check into this martial arts thing and it shows you how to breathe, um, do some animal forms. It's a way to channel that energy rather than being so aggressive towards another, to channel that and go another direction with it. As a gladiator, she's known as Dallas, which is the city where she was chosen out of 2,000 entrants to become a gladiator due to her aggressive style. Sometimes you're a little too fired up, you know, and, and your adrenaline's going so hard and you're just pumping and pumping. So, yeah, um, a lot of people have gotten hurt, but that's, that's the name of the game in gladiators. Only the strong survive. She's used to battling her opponents in a gladiator arena, but tonight, Dallas will take one of the best female kung fu artists around in the world. I just think I've got more to bring, more athleticism, just desire, you know, it comes right down to desire. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to come at her every two minutes, it's gonna, there's going to be action every, every second. I'm not going to stop. I will not stop. I mean, God help her, I ain't stopping. <laughs> and there she is, Shannon Hall. This is an exciting moment. She has never involved fought in Sancho before, but she did win the Tough Woman competition, and it's going to be an interesting uh, get-together. Yeah, yeah, she could definitely be uh, give uh, Tara McDonald a pretty good fight here because of her experience of all the toughness that she's done in the past. Well, let's see. She says she's going to come out right from the outset. Let's find out as we head up into the ring and Mark Miro. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three two-minute rounds, females in the open weight class. Your center referee for this event is Mike Berry. <laughs> Introducing now the principals first in the black corner to my right, wearing the black trunks with the white trim, weighing in at 152 pounds. She hails from Boston, Massachusetts, and is a gold medalist in the 1996 U.S. Open. Introducing Tara McDonald. McDonald. Her opponent in the red corner, wearing the red trunks, weighing in at 170 pounds. She hails from the magic city of Orlando, Florida, the 1996 Tough Woman Heavyweight Champion and former American Gladiator, Shannon Dallas. Shannon Hall, a very, very popular uh, competitor. Tara McDonald, uh, big, six feet tall, 152 pounds. Uh, she knows she's up against the tough one, Sophia. Yeah, I think what Tara's going to do is she doesn't know anything about Hall, so she said she's going to take the first 30 seconds and just see what kind of fighting technique she's going to use. Despite the fact that uh, Shannon Hall has never fought Sancho before, she might be considered the favorite, and she's going to give you a lot of lefts and right hands. She's just going to be the aggressor all night long. Yep. Coming out very aggressive. That should be a three-point takedown right there as uh, Shannon Hall took her right off uh, the late tie. The match. Good right to the head. I think that's some of the gladiator technique coming in where they push the person off the platform. Now, in the amateur uh, fights, there's another takedown. In the amateur fights, two twice in a round off the mat, the round would be over. Uh, no points scored right there. Tara McDonald, by the way, has her master's degree in international education from Harvard. She currently works at Harvard as a supervisor. But all the Harvard education in the world doesn't help that much in this ring. And right here, Shannon Hall is giving her a bit of an education. Also, Hall's punches are a lot more stronger. There's a lot more force coming through them. Well, basically, Shannon Hall's fight is 
with a fist. Uh, she is not trained that much with a leg. Well, that's, that's strength and power, and that's three more points. She just picked her up and threw her out of the ring. This aggressive style of hers, which made her so popular in the, uh, in the American Gladiator show. So we definitely have Hall dominating this match with her strength. Uh, McDonald's continuing with her kicks because I'm sure she's not, Hall isn't used to getting kicked, but she's just not doing any kicking techniques. And that is the end of the first round. A round that was dominated by Shannon Hall, who again has never fought Sancho before, but just, just her overall strength, her, her ability, and her aggressiveness, which uh, if you ever saw the American Gladiators, it's one of the things that made her really a crowd favorite. Right. And I think it surprised a little bit McDonald because she wasn't sure how she was going to start the fight or what her fighting style was. But up until this point, it's been all Shannon Hall. Well, let's see what McDonald does because now she certainly knows her style and what she's going to do. She has fallen way behind in the early going on, on three occasions in that round, two occasions, excuse me, the takeouts off the late tie, off the mat. You could just see the strength that Hall has. This one is the most impressive. She literally lifts her up. Very easy for Hall to maneuver McDonald around. And ready for the second round. Mike Barry, the referee in this one. Three more points. Okay, now we see a little action coming from McDonald. No points scored on that one. Good right hand by Shannon Hall. Shannon Hollow appears to be a natural righty. He's turned around at a couple of occasions and gone south foot. See McDonald looking for ways to try to take her down, but she's solid. Hall is solid there. Hall goes lefty again. Now comes back righty. Okay, we have a warning there for too much passive yeah. action. Good left and right combination by Hall. A packed house here on the Marriott World Resort in Orlando, Florida. A capacity crowd on hand to see the 97 Kung Fu Championship. And that's three points right there. Which makes it look easy, doesn't it? Final seconds of the second round. And again, a dominating performance by, by Shannon Hall. Uh, perhaps not as quite as dominating as her first round performance, but nevertheless, she has piled up uh, a nearly insurmountable lead at this particular point. There you go. Now, you take a look at someone like this who, who is not a martial artist. She's a fighter. Well, she does have a bit of uh, technique in Muay Thai boxing, which is also another tough style of martial arts using a lot of the legs. Come on, she could be a pretty good one. Take a deep breath. Again, one more time. Very good, again. There you go. Now, although she studied Muay Thai, she hasn't really used the kicking techniques from that. Basically, she's relying on the boxing and the strength that she has. Third and final round here. Shannon Hall, Dallas on the right. 
And on the left, Tara McDonald from Boston. So many Boston uh, competitors who train under Jason Yee, who is our headliner tonight. So many competitors from San Jose, California, who train under Kung Lee, the defending light heavyweight champion. Three points again awarded on that one. Well, Tyra McDonald is becoming a tired fighter at this point. Yeah, you can see she's not really punching, she's just placing her hands in there. No points, referee Mike Barry had uh, called for them to break. Our experienced Sancho fighter right there, if Shannon Hall had been one, when she had the leg, could have taken advantage with a good takedown. Yeah, I think she could become a very good Sancho fighter in studying some of the grappling techniques. She definitely has the hands and the strength. Tyra McDonald, standing eight count. Tyra McDonald, six feet, 152 pounds, and Shannon Hall is about six feet and just about 170 pounds. And just too much strength and too much boxing ability. I think McConnell, too, is a little bit fearful of her opponent here, so I think she's wishing the match was over. A courageous effort by her, but... Uh, You have to give her credit, though, for going in and knowing she was fighting someone yeah. this tough with this strength and it's used to this type of uh, pounding of people. Yeah. Originally, uh, the, uh, her fight was supposed to be against another opponent, a much smaller opponent, where she had about a 30-pound weight advantage against that particular opponent. And uh, Shannon Hall came along, and uh, it certainly changed the complexion. <laughs> and that was all in a matter of 24 hours. Yes. And the pounding, indeed, by Shannon Hall against Tara McDonald. Yeah, see, as you can see, those punches connecting. A lot of power behind that fist right there. Good right hand to finish that sequence off. And the judges should have no difficulty uh, in determining a winner of this one. It looks like it will be Shannon Hall. And Mike Biro, our ring announcer, hoping that the judges are ready. Judges ready. Judges ready. And the winner is, in the red corner, Shannon Dallas Hall. Hall. Shannon Hall, the winner by a decision. Tara McDonald fights valiantly and, and sticks it out through Ladies the full three rounds. But how about Dallas. a nice hand for Tara McDonald, who gave away almost 20 pounds in this bout. Tara McDonald. The winner and the going winner, away. Shannon Paul McDonald standing by, Paul.